below. Let's learn about the important tools and techniques in perform quantitative risk analysis. Here are some data gathering and representation techniques for your reference. First is interviewing. Interviewing techniques draw on experience and historical data to quantify the probability and impact of risks on project objectives. The information needed depends upon the type of probability distributions that will be used. For instance, information would be gathered on the optimistic, pessimistic, and most likely scenarios for some commonly used distributions. Here is an example of three-point estimates for cost. Probability distributions. Continuous probability distributions, which are used extensively in modeling and simulation, represent the uncertainty in values such as durations of schedule activities and costs of project components. Discrete distributions can be used to represent uncertain events, such as the outcome of a test or a possible scenario in a decision tree. Here are the two widely used continuous distribution for your reference. Beta distribution and triangular distribution. So far we learned about data gathering and representation techniques. Now let's learn about some data modeling techniques. First is, sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis helps to determine which risks have the most potential impact on the project. It helps to understand how the variations in projects' objectives correlate with variations in different uncertainties. Conversely, it examines the extent to which the uncertainty of each project element affects the objective being studied when all other uncertain elements are held at their baseline values. One typical display of sensitivity analysis is the tornado diagram which is useful for comparing relative importance and impact of variables that have a high degree of uncertainty to those that are more stable. A tornado diagram is a special type of bar chart used in sensitivity analysis for comparing the relative importance of the variables. In a tornado diagram, the y-axis contains each type of uncertainty at base values, and the x-axis contains the spread or correlation of the uncertainty to the studied output. Expected Monetary Value Analysis Expected Monetary Value EMV, analysis is a statistical concept that calculates the average outcome when the future includes scenarios that may or may not happen that is analysis under uncertainty. The EMV of opportunities are generally expressed as positive values, while those of threats are expressed as negative values. EMV requires a risk-neutral assumption neither risk-averse nor risk-seeking. EMV for a project is calculated by multiplying the value of each possible outcome by its probability of occurrence and adding the products together. A common use of this type of analysis is a decision tree analysis. Here in this example, a decision needs to be made, whether to invest 120 million USD to build a new plant or, to instead invest only 50 million USD to upgrade the existing plant. For each decision, the demand must be accounted for. For example, strong demand leads to 200 million USD revenue with the new plant but only 120 million USD for the upgraded plant, perhaps due to capacity limitations of the upgraded plant. The end of each branch shows the net effect of the payoffs minus costs. For each decision branch, all effects are added to determine the overall expected monetary value of the decision. Remember to account for the investment costs. From the calculations in the shaded areas, the upgraded plant has a higher EMV of 46 million USD. Modeling and Simulation A project simulation uses a model that translates the specified detailed uncertainties of the project into their potential impact on project objectives. Simulations are typically performed using the Monte Carlo technique. In a simulation, the project model is computed many times, with the input values chosen at random for each iteration from the probability distributions of these variables. From the example, we can say the project is only 12% likely to meet the 41 million USD most likely cost estimate. If the organization wants a 75 percentage of likelihood of success, a budget of 50 million USD is required. Hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, 
please hit the like button and share your comments. Stay subscribed for more knowledge sharing videos. Thank you for watching this video.